Hello everyone. Our broilers are four weeks old today. Remember, we started a practical demonstration class for broiler production with 10 beds. All beds are, 10, are four weeks old today, doing well, excellent in weight and excellent in their build up. Come with us as we go check out the beds this morning. So we are here. These are our demonstration, practical demonstration broilers. They are four weeks old. Can you see how they are moving? Very big, very healthy, very active, very sumptuous, and will be very, very delicious as well. And these are what we have here. Now, I want you to notice the little things we have added, the new things we've added. We added a new feeder, you see. The beds are four weeks old today. Uh, yesterday, we had to introduce a new feeder. <clears throat> we introduced a new feeder because the old one we were using, uh, they were beginning to be too full on it. They were too full on the old feeder. And so we had to separate them. Now, from practical experience, if you are using a feeder of this dimension, a feeder of this dimension, you should have between seven and eight beds to eat by four weeks. Anything more than seven to eight beds is overcrowding. Not more than eight beds, seven to eight maximum. So we have 10 beds here. We have to get another feeder so we don't have issue of stunted growth on even um, maturity, some growing faster than the others because of the pressure and the rush for food. We have this. Well, today we have started a new course of um, coccidia treatment. We have coccidiosis drugs, coccifor in the water. Uh, we just felt uh, we should give them this at this point in time. We still have them for a week more. In order to prevent any occurrence, we are giving our prevention drug coccidiosis. Now, at week four, if your beds have been doing well, this is the time to give them antibiotics as well. If you are going to keep them till week six, by week four, you should give them another dose of antibiotics to help prevent against anything that can occur between week four and week six. That is preventive drugs. So this is what we have right now. We will take their weight and see how they weigh at week four. And then I will, sh I will show you, we began to change feed yesterday. We started the transition from um, starter feed to finisher feed yesterday at um, three weeks and then six days old. We did that change. So I'll be showing you how to change your feed from starter to finish and in order not to cause problem for your beds. But first we'll take their weights and then we'll go into that um, transition of feed practicals. All right, so this is the scale we'll be using. The other smaller tabletop scale is not suited for mature beds like this to give you challenges. So we're using this scale, quite easy to operate. You power it on, it is digital. And you hang, I think you should hold it up here to give you a firm grip. And then whatever you hang here begins to read right it reads and it stays there for you to take your weight so it doesn't go off when it gets its final reading until you take it back to zero again so we'll be making use of this scale for our practicals now so let's pick our first bed okay see the way we tie this we tie the legs here so we are going to uh, attach this hook here to this place here to take the readings as simple as that our scale is on zero right so we will hang it here All right, and weigh this bed. What do we have? 2.135, 2.135 kg for this bed. Wow, that's massive. At four weeks, 2.135 kg at four weeks. Let's take other samples and see. All right, the second one. Come here, young man. The second one, please help me, help me hold it. Uh, uh, let me tie the legs. So, uh, tie the legs properly. And this is sufficient for us, for our purposes. Good. So our scale back, put it on, and then uh, we will hook it to the scale and take our weight. 2.160, 2.160 for our second chicken, 2.160. So we'll take on the third one. Let's see what we get. Third one. 2.125. 2.125. Evidently, all our beds are above 2.1 kg. Evidently, all our beds are above 2.1 kg for each of the 10 of them. So this is how far we have come 
uh, I'll lose this one and drop it back. I think evidently we have done a good job, a very good job. At four weeks, we have crossed 2.1 kg average weight. We've crossed 2.1. It's a combination of good breeds, um, quality feed, and excellent management. So all of these have added together to give us this wonderful results. We've already gone into finisher feed. We are transiting them already. I will show you how to transfer from starter feed to finisher feed without causing problems for your beds. Please come with me as we go learn how to do that properly. So we are here. I'll be showing you how to change from one feed to another. This is the feed we are giving our broiler starter feed. And we are trying to change from starter to finisher. So anytime you are changing from one type of feed to the other, you have to follow a procedure and do it properly. Now, if you are changing from crumble, can you see it? This is crumble. You are changing from crumble. The particle sizes are smaller. You are changing to pellets with bigger particle size. Or you are changing from one type of feed. You are using one brand, one product. You couldn't find it again. You are changing to another product. You have to do those changes very gradually according to the pattern we'll be showing you today. Now, if you change feed suddenly, there are a number of issues you will notice. Some farmers have reported their beds coming down with sickness. You will start passing out bloody poo, coccidiosis. Some of them start uh, rejecting feed. Um, some layer farmers have noticed drop in production, egg production. Some have even stopped producing altogether because it's a disruption of their digestive system leading to watery poo and all that other associated issues. So it's right and it is ideal that you learn how to do it properly. I'll be showing you how to do it now. Now, we'll be transiting, showing you how to change from this one to this other one. Now, you have to find out how much feed your bed consumes per day. So the day before you make this change, find out how much feed they eat per day. So let's say for the sake of demonstration, our beds eat four of these rubbers per day, four of these containers per day. So I will measure out the quantity of feed they eat per day into this bigger rubber now. So this is one. Two, three, and four. So this is the quantity of feed uh, our beds eat per day, right? So we want to change from this one to this, and we have to do it gradually. So this is what we do. Remove one-fourth, remove 25% of the old feed away and replace it by the new one. 25% is one over four. So I'll be removing one part of this away and replacing it with one part of the new feed, right? Replace it with one part of the new feed. So I now have three parts of the old feed and one part, 75% of the old feed and 25% of the new feed. I'll mix it together, all run, evenly mix it together. Now, after mixing it together, this is what you will give your beds on the first day. On the first day of transition, this is what you give your beds. All right, so we are on day two now. On day two, once again, our beds are eating four of these containers per day. So we measure four. Two. Three. Four. This is the four parts our beds usually eat every day. Remember yesterday, we removed one part and replaced it with a new one. Today, on day two of the transition, we we'll remove two parts. On day one, we remove one part. Today, we remove two parts and replace it with the new one. So we have two parts of the uh, old. We are replacing it with two parts of the new. Once again, we mix it thoroughly. This is what we will give to our beds on day two. Now, you will notice that this is 50-50. 50% of the old and 50 of the new. Now, on day three, can you guess what we'll do? We will remove three parts of the old away and replace it with three parts of the new, right? So we now have 25% um, of the old. That is one part of the old and three parts of the new. On day four, which is the last day, we removed three parts yesterday. So today being day four, we remove the entire four parts and replace it with the new. It's, it continues that way. So going forward, we use only the new since we have replaced everything. So it's just simple. First day, 25% substitution with the new. Second day, 50%. Third day, 75%. And the fourth day, entirely the new one. That is how to change from one feed to the other without causing problem for your bed. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you.